Hey, good morning, YouTube. It's uh, March 25th on a Sunday, 2017. It's raining outside again. It seems to do a lot in Oregon. What are we working on today? Working on uh, this pair of speakers. If you've seen the, some other videos, um, you know I replaced all the tweeters in these the other day. And uh, when I had them opened up, I realized there's no crossover in these speakers, uh, which is odd because they sounded actually pretty good. So I thought I could improve them a little bit by adding a crossover. So off to eBay, I went and purchased a pair of crossovers. They were rated uh, 250 watts, I think. And uh, gosh, they were only like 10 bucks or something, ship 15, something like that. Pretty cheap. Um, they have some adjustability by moving the the jumpers over. However, the instructions are all in Chinese, so I couldn't tell you what to move to where. I think they default at 2500 hertz. These are just two-way speakers, so it's just a two-way crossover. But I thought I'd just do a quick video and see uh, show everyone just how really simple it is to add a crossover if you've got a pair of speakers that don't have them. So basically, your, uh, your connection from your amplifiers on what is the bottom, and I'm just... Uh, Put a couple screws in there and screwed that right to the cabinet. And uh, that's the wire that goes to the back and that connects to the jack. You can barely see that through there. And, uh, and then <laughs> they were not even marked as to which speaker connected to where. So I actually had to hook them up and mark them with a B and a T for a bass speaker and the treble. Um, again, they weren't marked in any language that I could read. So uh, I had to do a decipher that. So there they are. So it's really just that easy. Just uh, cut everything apart. Keep everything marked. Mark your polarity. I marked the uh, negatives with a piece of black tape. So I didn't get anything confused. And then I added, a, I had to add the wires to the speaker. And it had had all kinds of junk soldered onto these things in the past. So I had cleaned up those terminals a little bit while I had it apart. Make it a little easy for yourself and just hang the speaker on a wire so you can get everything wired together. Um, so we're going to get in there and just stick a tie wrap on. Clean those wires up a little bit. Keep them out of the way. Keep them tight. Keep them from flopping around. And uh, we'll put this bass speaker back in and try it out. I already did the other speaker. Um, and it uh, really cleaned it up. Um, you know, it wasn't night and day or anything. But uh, it really cleaned it up crisp and clean now you know you don't have speakers trying to uh you're receiving frequencies that they weren't designed to reproduce so uh again these are my daily driver kind of speakers i do cruisings and car shows and stuff in the summertime we do you know six or eight of them a month um and these are uh, pretty light to pack around and put on stands i have a whole trailer full of speakers um, but uh, some of them don't get used very often, which means they're kept in very good condition. Um, these are, you know, showing their battle scars and so forth, and they're definitely vintage speakers from the get-go, being that they're vinyl wrapped and everything. But, uh, you know, I throw some paint on them when they get beat up. Um, but when you're throwing these things up and down that many times, you just as well dedicate to some speakers to being uh, beat up a little bit, but uh, they sound good. I even used them for an indoor event uh, a couple weeks ago um, with some smaller top speakers. And uh, well, the sound quality was really good, but I had the floor just uh, just uh, vibrating with the bass response of these. Again, they're nothing special. Um, I had never seen one with a square magnet on the back of it before. They are 15s. Um, so anyway, I like them because they're easy to pack, they're easy to put on stands, and they're easy to store in the van. Um, I now pack six speakers with the van. This van is now equipped with three amplifiers. Uh, uh, one more amplifier was added this winter. Um, so I can uh, easily run six. Or of course, you can parallel them, and the amps are okay with that. And if you want to run 12, but I can only carry six in the van. Other than that, I have a trailer load of equipment. So uh, the uh, added uh, EB7100, those are uh, 200 watt two channel amplifiers each uh, FM modulator Ooh. so anyway thanks for watching my videos I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up this speaker and give it a quick test run run it for a little while um, first car show of the season for me is uh, one week from yesterday so um, I got to get the van loaded up and uh, 
uh, get ready for a, another very, very busy season. And uh, this is my off season. This is when I get all the stuff done. So I was glad I had time to upgrade these speakers. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, go on to uh, YouTube and or YouTube. Go on to eBay and uh, find you crossovers that are inexpensive and uh, upgrade your speakers. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next one.